welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. This is um, basically a update video just because I lost a whole bunch of content when I uploaded it to YouTube. I don't know what happened. YouTube didn't um, uh, upload it appropriately. I don't know if there was it was corrupted. I don't know exactly what happened, but um, it was during the process of uploading on my YouTube channel and it just never uploaded. So I, I lost all that content. It was about 40 minute video of uh, installing the sound system and stuff like that. But that's gonna be, that's that's lost and gone. So what we're gonna do is kind of do an update video today. Um, just kind of updating you on, on what speakers I used. Um, now that they're in, we're gonna do like sound testing just so you guys can see. Um, and I'm gonna try to link up the, uh, the uh, Android radio to the phone so I can get some music out of these speakers. So. Guys, let's get to it. I'll show you around the car and show you the speakers that I put on. Uh, I'll show you the old ones and, and we'll go from there, guys. So let's go. All right, we'll start off with the old speakers. These are the old speakers, guys. So it looks like the previous owner had um, some Alpine SP, let's see, some Alpine SPS 130A. I, I don't know what that means to anybody, but it uh, doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> uh, but uh, definitely old speakers these are this factory stock speakers that i did remove um i did buy something real cool uh if you guys want to check it out got it literally off of wish these are basically um just adapters that go to the connectors that are like this but for a new speaker so these work really well for the rear um i just put uh speaker connectors and these things came up so it works great amazing uh, I would recommend it for the rear speakers anytime um, so now let's go to the uh, excuse the mess in the garage uh, let's go to the driver's side here and we'll start here with the speaker for the driver's side so this is the kickers DS uh, 650 series uh, super good I was kind of looking at the wattage on these compared to the wattage on the Alpines these are literally double this is 240 watts, um, I think 4 ohms, like it, it's, it's a really good speaker, um, fits perfectly as you can see, I the previous owner had these on there, I don't know if this comes factory stock or not, but to my knowledge I don't think they do, so um, what I did, I, I mean I reused it, so it, it was not hitting anywhere behind here or anything like that, and it, it fits perfectly great, like I mean it, it fits amazing um doesn't move pretty solid they have a nice um like out metal casting of the on the speakers it's almost like a a powder coated uh finish really nice um now we can move on to the back speakers i don't know if you can really tell but these are the backs um i gotta readjust um how i'm gonna do this just because i don't like this this looks really ghetto it fits perfectly but it, it's kind of ghetto so what i'm gonna do is probably try to make some brackets here with uh with two of them because there's there's a bolt here and a bolt here i guess i've i could have went four inch speakers um but all the books said three and a half and this is what uh this is what three and a half looks like, but I believe you could have fit four inch speakers on here, but I bought them. I'm going to use them. Um, it's nothing too crazy. Um, also, I can also do like a, a dyno map behind it and kind of center it and, and make it look nice, but we'll figure it out. It's nothing big. This is basically just to, to sit everything uh, well on there just to make sure that everything looks good. We'll close this up. Um, same thing goes for the other side, guys. Let's, let's check out the other side. Um, they fit really well on, on the driver's side and passenger side door. So you could just check it out really quick. So then I can give you guys a test, a sound test on them. Again, this one came with the same thing on this side, fit really well. Um, let's check. Same thing goes for here. Um, this one fit differently because I put it on a different mounting point, but it, it does fit a lot better. Um, but again, like I said, I'm going to adjust these and make things, uh, make them work. So we'll, we'll get to that. But, uh, as of right now, there we go. There. So, yeah. So let's get, uh, onto the radio. So this is a Android seven inch, um, radio, um, bought it extremely cheap i think somewhere around the area of like 60 bucks um it it's pretty simple it's one of those slim 
radios. So I've been having an issue with the bracket tree. Um, trying to get it to fit appropriately has been a headache um, ever since I started to install this thing. So I, I'm trying to find a way. If you guys have any options or, or have done this before, please hit me up. Put a, a, a DM on my uh, Instagram or Facebook or even message me on YouTube just because I am having a real, real hard issue trying to um, adjust this here and it just does not work for me. I'm almost to the point where I think I want to just buy another radio, but I love the way this uh, radio operates. So for 70 bucks, I mean, if mounting is just the only issue and everything else works great, then I really can't complain. Like it has GPS, it has Wi-Fi, it has... All these capabilities for $65, you really can't beat it. I'll leave a, a a link in the description for the radio and for both speakers. I'm going to give people the option, too, of doing foreign speakers. Um, and I'll put the link up there because I got the foreign speakers on my other MR2, which soon will be on my channel for uh, building. So, we're going to turn the key. Let's see if I can uh, get, uh, get this uh, going. Turn the key to see if I can get this actually just turned on so there's really no startup screen let me wait for this to stop beeping because it's quite annoying oh so all right so what I'm gonna do now is try to link my Bluetooth to this radio so then we can uh, hear some music and see how these uh, speakers sound Alright guys, I got it linked up to my radio and my phone or my my Bluetooth on my phone So we're gonna hit some sound so we can uh, hear how it sounds We're gonna bump up this sound a little bit to 20 It sounds super clear guys. It's like Super, super clear. test was amazing actually I, I really love how these speakers sound and it's super super clear sound um, bass could have been better but I don't have a subwoofer I don't plan on putting a subwoofer on here again like this is something that um, I wanted it to sound good um, I am not gonna invest a lot of money into it just because I do want to sell this car and um, uh, start on another project start on my other mr2 project which is that I have subwoofers and everything But we'll get to that on another day. Um, we're gonna go over this radio just a little bit um, Look at all the cool features that it has. It has literally everything Let's see if I can get up closer. There you go It has a lot of everything. It has YouTube. It has um, Google Maps um, It has a built-in GPS, which is I go um, you could do a whole bunch of different things with that. Um, you could definitely, uh, I mean, everything, everything. It has a lot of different things to, to do. Um, you can do, let's see, there's the option of changing, let's see, car settings or, let's see, logo settings. There's even where you can choose uh, different logos or startup logos for your, for your car. Like, they have a bunch of them like a bunch um, it's not as responsive right now because I still got that other clear plastic that's on it for the screen so my finger is cold and it doesn't necessarily register well but they have everything they have the Toyota all right logo set 
awesome so I don't know where the logo pops up but it should pop up um, they got all type of stuff let's see what this is video um, regular settings I guess I guess this is music settings uh, navigation settings um, startup or always you know like where you wanna which one you wanna start up um, learning so these are I think this is steering wheel function so this is kinda cool um, GPS actuators radio stuff gives you different options of different radios um, they have like a bunch of different radios um, obviously I have to put the America um, screen savers uh, screen settings, handbrake, e-brake off, float bars. They got a ton of stuff here, guys. So I'm definitely going to leave the, the link to the description in, of this radio and speakers. Um, guys, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little quick mini update. All right, guys, sorry about that. That was my luck telling me that I need to recharge it. So regardless, um, this is going to conclude today's episode, guys. I just want to thank every single one of my subscribers, guys. First and foremost, I want to start off with this good news. Um, I am now monetized um, and a YouTube partner, apparently, um, on YouTube. So it was all because of you guys. I want to thank every single one of you guys. Thank you for watching all my videos. I know some of them are off the wall sometimes and, and stuff like that, and I'm working on it. I'm continuously trying to improve my channel taking all of the the uh, advice from you guys. Um, I'm trying my hardest to, to incorporate everything all at one time. It is a lot, um, but I, I, I'm trying to do it, guys. So work with me, but I'm monetized. So this is, this is getting good, guys. This is getting good. So that means I can get some type of revenue. Um, even if it's not a lot, just some type of revenue. It's, it, I'm on the right track, guys. So it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be a slow process, I'm sure. But I, I'm in that direction that I need to go. So guys, again, I want to thank every single one of you guys uh, for watching my videos fully through. I'm going to have commercials now. So guys, watch those commercials just to watch them, guys. Do me that favor. Um, and it'll help me greatly. So guys, again, thank you, thank you, and thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, and as far as today's episode, it was just a brief, quick, you know, update on, on what was going on just because I lost some video and it was really annoying that that video got lost because it was a lot of work put into that video. But what can I do? Uh, I can't cry over spilled milk. So what we can do is just keep moving forward and, and keep it going. Um, like I always say, there's always room for improvement anyway. So um, it, it's it's totally okay. It's whatever. Um, but again, guys, thank you. This is Nasty Addiction. This is our 92 Toyota MR2. And my name is Jeremy. Thank you. This is Nasty Addiction Garage. We build with purpose, guys. You already know. Until next time.